Hi friends, welcome to our lesson on square and square root. Let's have a look at this example. 3 times 2 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. 3 times 3 is 9. 5 times 5 is 25. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 is the product of 3 and 2. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 and 4, they are the factors of 8. So 8 is product of 2 and 4. 3 times 3, they are also factors of 9. The product is 9. 5 times 5, 25. 5, 5 is the factors of 25. So 25 is the product of 5 and 5. Here we have two different multiplication table. 3 times 2 means we are multiplying two different whole numbers here 2 times 4 again we have a two different whole number 3 times 3 now we have a same whole number here also 5 times 5 5 we are multiplying here the same whole number when we multiply the same whole number the product is called square number so we have here 2 square number 9 and 25 because 9 is obtained from by multiplying 3 times 3 25 is obtained from by multiplying 5 times 5 the same number then what is a square number so simply we can say a square number is a Simply we can say the square number is the product of two identical numbers. When a number is multiplied by the same number, the product is the simply we can say the square number is the product of two identical numbers. When a number is multiplied by the same number, the product is the square number of the number. So let's take another example 8. Let's multiply with the same number. 8 times 8 which is 64 so here we have a square number 64 let's take some more example 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 let's multiply this 0 by the same identical number 0 0 times 0 is 0 so 1 times 1 1 2 times 2, 4, 3 times 3, 9, 4 times 4, 16, 5 times 5, 25, 6 times 6, 26, 7 times 7, 49, 8 times 8, 64, and 9 times 9, 81. So we have a product here like 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81. They are the square number of different number. These all are square number. Okay, so then what is square root? What is square root? Let's take negative number. Minus 2, minus 5, minus 6. So multiply the same number, same negative number. Which is negative numbers minus 2 and minus 2, which is 4. 4 is a square number, positive square number. So 5 minus 5 times minus 5 is 25. 25 is positive square number. So minus 6 and minus 6, minus 6 times minus 6, and 36, positive square number. Negative times gives a negative times gives a positive number. When we negative times gives a positive number. When we square a negative number, we get a positive number always. What is square root? Square root of 9. Square root of 
9. So we can write simply here this symbol which is called radical sign square root of 9 is 3 because we can get 9 by multiplying 3 times 3. So the square root of 9 is 3 square root of 49. So how can you get 49 by multiplying the same number? 1 times 1, 1, 2 times 2, 4, 3 times 3, 9, 4 times 4, 16, 5 times 5, 25, 6 times 6, 36, 7 times 7, 49. Yes, it means 7 is the square root of 49. So exponent form first exponent form where we can write the number like 5 square it means it means 5 2 times but normally we get confused because we write 5 times 2 which is 10 5 times 2 is 10 which is not a square number of 2 or 5 so 5 square means 5 it means the base 5 is called the base 2 is the power so we have to multiply the base 2 times 2 means twice means twice time we have to multiply 5 times 5 which is 25 so we have to remember here in exponent form which is base and which is power this is called power 2 is the power of 5 5 is the base base number so that means we write base number we multiply base number twice which gives us 25 so that's why 25 is the square number of 5 this is the example of exponent form so we can write another like that like 4 square this is also another example of exponent form now we have we can write here expanded form also expanded form expanded form means okay let's take the same example like 5 times 5 square means we can write here 5 times 5 which is 21 this is called expanded form expanded form so similarly for, for 4 also we can write here 4 times 4 which is 16 and the standard form is standard form is standard form is 4 